The Toronto Maple Leafs now have a stranglehold on their series. Gentlemen, with the Montreal Canadiens after beating them 4-0 in Game 4. Our coverage here on the fourth period brought to you as always by BitBuy, Canada's number one cryptocurrency platform. David, Jack Campbell with his first ever career playoff shutout in a game the Toronto Maple Leafs dominated start to finish. Yeah, this one was definitely all Maple Leafs. I mean, it looked like the Canadians could have built something off that first period. But no, the Toronto Maple Leafs took control of this game, led by William Nylander and Alex Galchenyuk. And Nylander actually becoming the third Leaf in franchise history to record four consecutive goals to start his playoff campaign. The last guy to do it, Wendell Clark in 1986. Good company for him. And the Leafs in good company right now with a 3-1 lead over the Canadians, Montreal just had nothing to combat Toronto in this game. And really all series, it was a little embarrassing to be perfectly honest with you from Montreal side of things, but from the Leafs, nice and comfortable. They came into Montreal for two straight games. They won both of them. They get to go home on Thursday with a commanding lead. Dennis, for the Montreal Canadiens standpoint, I'll ask you flat out, what's next for the Habs? What do they need to do to try and get back into this series? Well, Earth, the rumor is that the Canadians' offense is sponsored by Duncan because there's a big hole in the middle. So I think that's the problem with this team, is that their center play cannot compare. Even with John Tavares out, the center play is just not there. It's lacking. They have the wings. They have the skill on the wings to be able to score goals. They just don't have the facilitator. Suzuki's doing a decent job, but the rest of them, Kakanyemi and the rest, uh, don't know. It's just not enough offense for this team. That's what they are. They're playing good enough defensively. Carey Price is standing on his head every night in this series. It's just not good enough in the postseason. You just have to have some offense to go along with the solid defense and goaltending play. This series appears to be over going back to Toronto for Game 5, Earth. Yeah, and I guess, Dave, my question for you is if the if you're the Leafs, you you need to end this on Thursday, don't you? Yeah, you do. I mean, it'd be nice to get to a game six to see some fans in a Canadian building because they're all over the U.S., so that would be nice. The Canadians can have 2,500 fans for game six. But, I mean, well, I mean, look, it is the Leafs, so there's a good chance the Canadians can at least steal one more out of this one. History dictates that that might be the case. But really, in this series, uh, there's just too much from the Leafs for them to allow Montreal to get back into this series. You, you know, it was it was funny. The, the, the camera angle that they showed the bench at the start of the third period for the Montreal Canadiens, DB, everybody already looked deflated going into the third period. So I just, there, there wasn't enough fight from them. And the Toronto Maple Leafs did a fantastic job making sure that they controlled the pace of play when they wanted to. And it showed again in game four. Well, Dave, I think the one point in this series you want to make is the biggest goal scored by the Montreal Canadiens was a shorthanded goal by Paul Byron in game one. That's just, like I said, it's just not good enough. It's not good enough to win in the postseason. And now GM Mark Bergevin is going to have to go back to the drawing board and try to figure out how to get more offense into this team next season. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for this. And it's that time of the playoffs where I get to use my favorite line. As the Montreal Canadiens look to stave off elimination on Thursday night.